When I first received the gift of the Holy Ghost, I was 19. It had been a full year since I had been baptised and I was invited to go to a youth camp um, in New Life Church, Glasgow. And I went with my sister Louise. My sister and I were very shy, so we always sat at the back seats of the church. And uh, the message that day was about giving your struggles in life over to God. It was a powerful message that touched my heart. And afterwards, the preacher that day asked if anyone in the sanctuary hadn't received the gift of the Holy Ghost. Um, he said that if we hadn't, we should come to the front of the church to be prayed for. And I have to admit, I was absolutely terrified. I thought, if I go up there and pray to Jesus, will it happen? Or will I look silly if it doesn't happen? Is it even real? Could I really receive God's Spirit inside me and start speaking in tongues? I remember feeling embarrassed, but I took a step of faith and I felt God drawing me to the front. I had a first to fall deeper in my relationship with Jesus and I was willing to fall at, my, fall at his feet that day. I had to know I had to receive his spirit for myself. I left my seat nervously and my sister followed after me. We gathered at the front and others started putting their hands on our shoulders. We began to pray specifically for God to give us the Holy Ghost. And I prayed, telling Jesus how much I loved him, how I wanted to serve him for the rest of my life, how sorry I was for all my sins and my gratitude for a sacrifice upon the cross and his gracious forgiveness. I felt his love surround me and I lifted my arms in surrender to his will. Those around me encouraged my prayer as I asked God for the gift of the Holy Ghost and I told God that I loved him more than anything in my life. I prayed for longer than I'd ever prayed before. I focused on Jesus alone. It was just me and my God. It felt like I'd prayed for hours and then I began to doubt. All of a sudden, God's Spirit swept over us and I heard my sister speaking in tongues, receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. It was real. His Spirit was here and I felt a thrill of excitement. If she could receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, then so could I. I focused on Jesus once more, just me and him. I thought about my life, all the horrible things that I'd suffered, the recent loss of a family member, my hopes and dreams for the future. I thought about all the aspects in my life and how they'd all led to Jesus' amazing love. I felt my head buzzing and a bright light filled my eyes. God's spirit swept over me and my tongue was talking really fast. I wasn't making any sense when I spoke in prayer, but every word was powerful, meaningful, and it was coming from my heart. Every emotion poured out of my mouth. I was in awe, marvelled by what was happening to me. Once I started speaking in tongues, I found it hard to stop. God had done a miracle and an experience so great that I was astonished and my eyes had been opened to the truth of his spirit. What was written in the Bible was coming true before me and I had a new revelation of God. He is real and he cares about us all. He wants us to have a relationship with him and wants us to live in heaven with him one day. I recall not wanting service to ever end that day and I was giddy and so excited. I phoned my mum and dad and told them about what had happened. They thought I was drunk. I told them no, I had received God's spirit. There was nothing greater and nothing that can surpass the joy of his spirit living within you. I told everyone I came across And it truly was the happiest day of my life. When you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, you will always remember that day that God first covered you with all of his love. 
and the feeling, the connection between you and Jesus becoming stronger. He will open your eyes, give you deeper understanding, and you will have a closer relationship with him. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for your spirit.